Moving on to patella clunk syndrome, this is a rare phenomenon seen only with posterior stabilized knees. It's caused by a fibrous nodule that forms on the posterior surface of the quadriceps tendon above the superior pole of the tendon. There are a number of risk factors that have been uh, identified, uh, including patella baja, valgus preoperative alignment, and of uh, course, formation of a fibrosynovial proliferation at the quadriceps insertion um, found at the time of the index arthroplasty, and this sh uh, should be resected at the time of arthroplasty. There are, are some of the risk factors in terms of component um, uh, sizing. Smaller patella components can uh, certainly increase the, the risk of uh, fibrosynovial proliferation uh, in the bare uh, area of the patella. Uh, a patella component placed low on the patella can also uh, leave uh, an area for the nodule to uh, form. A thin patella component, um, I'm sorry, a thin patella caused by over resection uh, can also increase uh, the chance of a patella clunk syndrome developing. A femoral component in a flexed position can cause irritation of the soft tissues uh, in that area and uh, result in a nodule being formed. And this is the classic answer that's highlighted in green here in terms of risk factors for patella clunk syndrome a higher intercondylar box ratio. In other words, the trochlear uh, box extends proximally, um, and uh, this can result in uh, an increased incidence of patella clunk syndrome. A thick polyethylene insert can also create a relative patella baja. The cause of the scar tissue is uh, largely uh, unknown, um, but uh, it certainly can be very uh, symptomatic. And what happens is the patients complain of a locking or catching as the knee comes to about 30 to 40 degrees. And as they extend the knee from flexion, there is a usual audible uh, pop. Uh, this can be quite uh, painful uh, to the patients. Uh, on ultrasound, if one chooses to get an ultrasound, you can uh, see a suprapatella a fibrous tissue. And the treatment for this is uh, arthroscopic uh, versus an open resection of a fibrous uh, nodule. Here you can see the before and after arthroscopic uh, pictures. Um, and this procedure usually works quite well with a low rate of uh, recurrence. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.